Ezekiel chapter 38. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tobol, and prophesy against him. Him. We got places, people, and somebody tell you tell you they got it all figured out, they don't. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince. So God is a person of Meshach and Tabal. Meshach and Tabal are cities. Land of Magog may be a person's name. I will turn thee back. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reverse you. And it's not a repentance, is you're gonna come full force military, and I'm gonna set you back. You're going to go the other way. And put hooks in thy jaws. Now I ran the reference in Job to Satan. And it said, uh, put the hooks in his nose, that are not the same. And I will bring thee forth. I'll turn thee back. I'm going to turn thee around, but now I'm going to bring you forth. So he's going to go full force by the Lord in the wrong way. And all thy army, horses and horsemen. Now, this is a future event. And they'll say, well, you know, we don't use horses no more. Yeah, but our equipment that we have has horsepower. We have not strained away from the terms of the King James Bible, never mind the, the phony English versions. We may not use horses in the future, or we may. But if we do have mechanical Equipment like we have, they go under horsepower. <clears throat> and all of them are clothed with sorts of armor. Even the vehicles used by the army and all them, and the, and the Navy ships, they have armor. Armor piercing bullets. And a great company with bucklers, that's a belt buckle kind of thing, and shields. All them handling swords. Well, they wouldn't know what bazookas and cannons and all that were back then. And maybe God knows that in the future we're all going to go back to swords and axes and spears. I'll put my trust in what God says. And if I'm wrong, then God is wrong. And God is wrong, then... My hope is built nothing if God is wrong. So I just believe what God tells me. Horses and, and, and swords and whether they be figurative, whether they be typology, whether symbolic. God said sword. And if you go messing with what God says, you're more in trouble than someone who says, you know what, in King James, the Lesbian English, God said it, that's so. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands. So here's a united nations gathered together in the house of Targamar of the north quarter. And all his bands and many people with him. So here's a gathering, a bunch of people. Be thou prepared and prepare, prepare thyself, God. Thou and all the company that are assembled on thee. Assembled. We saw horsepower. We saw horses. Assembled. United Assembly that meets in New York City. See, you can change the Bible to your modern, up to date English. The world uses the King James Bible. And be thou guard unto them. 
After many days they shall be visited. In the latter years, that's a clue, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel. All right, now we're in the land of Israel, which have been always waste. That's true to today. But it is brought forth out of the nations. Assembly, verse 7, United Nations Assembly. And they shall dwell safely, all of them. They are not dwelling safely now. And they'll say that this is the war or the people, the Macade uh, Maccabees, Macedonians and not. This is not the battle of Maccabees because they are not dwelling safely in the land and have not dwelt safely in the land. And the only time that they'll dwell safely, safely in the land is in the millennium. Or there's a peacetime coming of the Antichrist. That white horse that comes, brings in peace, then war. Maybe we're looking at the, the four horses of the apocalypse right now. Thou shalt ascend and come down like a storm, and shall be like a cloud. Pointing out the words that are important, to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands, many people with thee. There's going to be a lot. Battle of Armageddon. <laughs> So, thus saith the Lord God, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, thought. And thou shalt think an evil thought. That won't be hard. <laughs> and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest. <laughs> And it dwells safely. That's not Israel today. All then dwelling without walls. Have neither bars nor gates. To take a spoil, to rob, to, to take a prey. To turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. So there is a regathering in Israel under peaceful terms and then there'll be an army coming and armies coming and they're going to sack and spoil they are gathered out of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land Sheba and Dedan and merchants of Tarshish with all the young lions thereof Adversary, the devil roars about a lion. Shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take away great spoil? Wherefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto God, Thus saith the Lord, In the day when my people Israel dwell safely, Shall thou not know it? <laughs> That's the millennium. And thou shalt come from the place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, and all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And I shall come against my people Israel. Okay, so it's Israel. As a cloud to cover the land. That's how... And that cloud is not only just the warriors, but, you know, the dust and the dirt they're going to kick up. But I've also seen pictures of military vehicles going to that, that climate, that area, and they kick up dust and dirt. But it's an army. And it shall be in the latter days. I will bring thee against my land. And the heathen may know me when I shall sanctify in thee, O God, before their eyes. 
God is gathering Gog and his military to go against Israel for God to get the glory. <laughs> That's what God did to Pharaoh in Egypt, in Exodus. Everything against Pharaoh, and in the end, God got the glory. I guarantee there were Egyptians that left. We know they were. It said a mixed multitude that went out honoring God. <laughs> Thus saith the Lord God, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel? He's speaking about them right now. And Ezekiel was written many, 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 many years ago. I guess he would say in old time. And by the time this prophecy happened, it would be even an older time. Which prophesied in those days, many years I would bring thee against them. Been many years. It don't match the one say Macedonians. Doesn't match the Macedonians. And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel. You know the world is so absent of the word of God. Can you imagine if there was a guy born, set up like this, and named his Gog, and they wouldn't even know? Uh, if God would have gave us the name of the Antichrist, I don't even think your typical Baptist would even know. They don't read the Bible. I heard a preacher today, well-known preacher, well-about preacher. You can trust his words. There, there are churches today the Christians don't even know what the judgment seat of Christ is. Never mind the rewards. Never mind the crowns. They are so fluffy candy corn and, and uh, cotton candy preaching today. They think, oh, we're, we're, we deserve to go to heaven and everything's going to be great and God's just going to forgive us of everything. That's a lad to see in church age mess. If there's going to be a longer line at the judgment seat of Christ, it's going to be those in the lad to see in church age. Many of them be the pastors and Sunday school teachers. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. All right. If God spoke in it, you better mark it down. Surely in that day there shall be a great shake in the land of Israel. You read about all the earthquakes that going on in the tribulation? So that the fishes of the sea, the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the field, and all creepy things that creep on the earth, I don't know why God made them. And all the men that are on the face of the earth shall shake at my prayer. That happened in the Maccadines? I don't think so. You need to read the book of Revelation with this chapter. And the mountain shall be thrown down. That's second advent. And the steep places shall fall. That's the second advent. And every wall shall fall flat to the ground. Like Jericho, where Joshua brought them in the promised land, where Jesus is going to bring them in the promised land. Don't change the Joshua to, I mean, the Jesus to Joshua in, in Acts, in Hebrews. It's supposed to be Jesus. Imagine you telling God and Stephen what to write and whoever wrote Hebrews. And I will call for a sword against him throughout. All by mouth. What's that sword? The one that comes out of the mouth of Jesus. Saith the Lord God, every man's sword shall be against his brother. That was a war that happened, um, I forget one of the wars in, in Israel. This is going to be a war where they're going to turn their own swords against each other. It's going to be a lot of million dollar butt wounds. You say, what's that? That's where a guy is going into combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he gets a bullet in the butt. Uh, there's only two ways he can get that bullet in the butt. He turned around and ran, or his friend behind him gave it to him. They call it a million-dollar butt wound. He had a lot of explaining to do when you went to the aid station with that butt wound. I will plead against him and every man against his brother. That's a civil war. 
So we got at least one world war, and we got a couple more civil wars coming. Tell that to the Pope. I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. Tribulation. I will rain upon him, upon his band, upon the many people that are with him. An overflowing rain, great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Oh, uh, what book does that come out of? How can you say this is Maccabees? Oh, I know how you can say that. You haven't read your Bible. Thus will I magnify myself, God says, and sanctify myself, set myself apart. I will be known in the eyes of many nations, United Nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. There's that expression again. Some people are going to learn the hard way that God is God. Because the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God, atheists, evolutionists, Buddhists, Mohammedists, Catholics, Mormonists, Jehovah Witnesses, and they all above. 